all about Symbian and mobile industry review. My name is Christoph Hermes. I'm based in Berlin for Nokia. Uh, and I'm running the product development of our location products, most prominent one being OV Maps. I mean, for us, January 21st was a lifetime milestone. Uh, this is what we have been dreaming for for the last five years, being a small company called Gate5, being bought by Nokia, went through the acquisition with Navtec. It was always with clear intention to make location, mapping, and eventually navigation for free on Nokia devices to the end consumer. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was really chapter one of the location story closed, new book, white piece of paper, next step. Now the success speaks for itself. Within less than four weeks, we have more than three million downloads of the application. And it's not only download, we have also very high active user rate. People who use maps every day for multiple contexts. Simple orientation, drive, walk. A new function that we brought called live casting, where people publish their location to social networks, in that case Facebook. Uh, we see being user very active and very addictive to this kind of uh, topic. So we are very happy uh, and pleased with, uh, with the uptake of the service. And when can we expect to see uh, the free navigation embedded in handsets? Uh, as of March, all new handsets being shipped will have the client pre-installed. And in terms of device support at the moment, it's S60 3rd edition feature pack yes. 2 and 5th yes. edition. Can we expect to see that extended in the future? We haven't decided yet. I mean, going forward, it's obvious all new devices, uh, including Memo platform, Migo platform, will get. Uh, we haven't made any final decision yet. For us, it's mainly a resource problem. Uh, we have scarce resources. We have roadmaps that burst of new innovation we want to do. So it's a question, what do we do first? And we haven't made the final decision yet. So turning to all the maps as a product, uh, it has some strengths and some weaknesses. Mm -hmm. and Particularly with the weaknesses, I think where there's often a comparison made is between something like the um, location or points of information database yep. tied in with Google yep. Maps versus yep. Ovi Maps. Yep. Is there something we can expect to see in the future where that will improve? It's, I'm sure it's an ongoing process. Yes, uh, we improve a lot. I mean, we don't do like maybe competition crawl the web for information because it's not so reliable. You see us being very active in the partner space. Uh, a few weeks ago, Naftec announced a partnership with Turkish Yellow Page provider. So we'll see us partnering with a lot of uh, POI and content providers that provide you more accurate and more complete data. But clearly this is something we're absolutely aware of, uh, something that we would like to improve, but we do it with our partner uh, because uh, we believe you know, a purely web-based crawling approach doesn't make so much sense for us. And do you think that uh, so user-generated points of information could play a role there? I mean, looking at Google, they've got their Google base. In fact, a lot of their strategy is based around the user-generated or using data yep. from people yep. using uh, uh, yes. maps. Yes. It, it will be, but it will not be either or. As always in life, it will be a combination. The same way we don't believe in purely community-generated maps, we believe it's very good to have some high quality or quality base information, maybe on mapping, maybe on POI, and use the community to correct, update, or add missing information. This is much makes much more sense and rely only on pure community approaches, which we believe is difficult to get a holistic and complete picture. And similarly, can we expect to see improvements in the satellite view, for example? Yes, we're working a lot, and our partner, Digital Globe, from Misusa Satellite, they launched new satellites, so you will see that uh, improving as well. And if you follow closely, also Navtech equips their car with new equipment to make more imagery, richer imagery, move towards three-dimensional imagery, photorealistic objects, uh, 3D, and point cloud. So there's a lot of innovation <coughs> to happen, so this is why we said new chapter started. By far, it's not done. Stay tuned for more. At All About Symbian and Mobile Industry Review.